Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Let's Play Necropolis with your truly slow wolf. Last time we managed to pick up a good suit of armor, we started making some progress, we now have a sword that I'm very pleased with and a spear that I'm very pleased with. This is so far turning into a reasonable run. We just need to make sure that we can bring this home. Uh, which is easier said than done. We've been having a couple of really bad runs uh, in the last, like the last couple of runs we had were not the best. And honestly, I've been on a bit of a losing streak with this game, which is not ideal. But it's a hard game, so it, it, it happens. Okay, he, he hit me. That sucked. You gotta remember, you don't have like the Super HP book that you did in the last couple of levels. You have the Money book, so you need to play it safer and slower so that you don't get hit as often. And you don't have to, you know, build as much HP as before. Like You don't have to like waste as many resources on just HP. You also have this really sick mundane sword, so like, you know, take your time, enjoy it, take a couple swings at everything, you know, try your best at everything you do, because 100% of the swings you don't take are swings that you miss, right? Anyway, all those guys went down. We probably could have done that a little bit faster with, say, this, but uh, we'll, we'll find out. Cryptics, okay. Should, all right, don't, don't hit more than once, because they tend to just run away the instant you hit them. As I, as I hit more than once. Yep, I'm very smart. Okay, one more cryptic. That's it. Good. He missed. Hit him. He went flying off the edge. He is now dead. There are no ifs, ands, or buts about that one. Uh, but I'm not getting his shit. And now we got this guy. This is, this is a good day. And he's now dead. Okay, we're doing things. This is, this is, this is fine. Just eat a ration. Call it a day. Get your age, get your stamina back up and running. Oh boy! It, as far as starts to an episode go, I don't think I've faced quite so quite so many bad guys in one run as I have, uh, it, you know, just now. So, so I get rid of another one. Go for a swing here. Back off. Go for another swing here. Take it easy. Yeah, he went down relatively simply once you got past a couple of parts there, and then this skeleton should be dead as well. Perfect. Okay, we're doing fine. Just take your time. Don't go too far too fast. Uh, we do need to start making some of this arcane food, so that way we can uh, get another favor off of the job we have, the food of the arcane variety. We also need to just beat up one more spider, and we can get that particular bonus as well. So this is, this is like, right now our inventory looks sick, because we just have a lot of good stuff. Uh, scroll of healing could be helpful when we're really badly hurt, and we are just in need of recovering personally, you know? Um... Now let's eat one of those arcane foods now, since we don't have a lot of stamina. Uh, it's a bit of a waste, considering how much it heals whenever you do that, but... Okay, he's dead. That's fantastic. Alright, do we take up the grind? It's worth a lot of money. Like, those crystals that you can break give out a ton of gems. But I would... Oof. I, I, I think I'm going to take up these, uh, this gin first, because if I don't, then it's going to be a bad day. Okay, here we go. The Jin is angry. Just take it easy. Wait for him to do a straight attack, because if you don't... Like that one, yeah. That's, that's the straight attack you want to go for, and you want to circle to the left. Nope, or to the right. I mean, I'm not sure which. He just has a lot of round attacks, and whenever he does a straight attack, you go for it. That Like, that's the only strategy I've got. I, I the, These guys are just fucking weird, and they attack in weird, strange ways, and... I don't like these guys. Now, and they hurt a lot because they attack very fast and in clumps, and he's dead. Okay, so I think ice weapons actually work against them. We need to keep that in mind. That's that's that's, that's actually really fantastic. Let's go after these guys here next. We could use the money. Just be careful of the traps because there are traps on the ground. They do hurt a lot if you get stuck. So don't get stuck. And they can't get stuck by their own traps, which is oh fuck me too. Okay, stay still. Oh, don't get stuck. Now run. Oh shit, you got caught by both of them. Like, eat this arcane food. And then that buffs this guy, so like, you need to go after these assholes in the back. Look. What? Yep, I will spend as much energy as I need to to kill this thing as fast as possible. They, they suck. Okay, that's one dead. The other one's next. Uh, we got hit. Shit, that's a lot of damage. Where'd the other one go? There he is. Oh, come on! Roll out of the way, because it's going to happen again soon. Yep, we didn't get caught this time. That's fine. That's probably a heal on that guy. Look, just go after this asshole. Good, he's dead. 
We did We did it. We played smart. We went after the guys in the back. This guy's all that's left now. He's all that's left between me and victory. It's time for you to die. Like, honestly, just please be deceased soon. How is this guy not dead yet? Like, he, we've been swinging at him. He's got that stupid shield bash from hell, which sucks like hell. Because he just does it all the time. He's got unlimited stamina. Thank you. Holy crap. Is that all of it? Nope. There's more somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. I... Alright, who else is going to spawn? Because, like, at this point, I just... I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. Oh, good. I made it this far, and... More shieldy guys. Fan, fan fucking tastic. Look. Just come at me, friend. Let's see what you got. We can do this. We got more than enough food to fucking take you the shit on. Okay, be careful. Jump. Then run. Good stuff. Okay, we made it this far. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Keep running. Eat an apple. That gave us the favor, they gave us all of our regen back. Okay, sweet. Now let's kill off the rest of these grind. Is this worth it? Probably not. Look, this is this is getting dumb. Every time I attack, he has an attack that goes with it. It's... Uh, I, I hate these guys. So much. Like, the, these grind are the hardest grind out of the bunch. They're not the late game ones. They're the mid game ones with the shield bash. Like, stop it! Do something else! Yeah, that one. That's fine. Ow. Screw you. Okay, come back. Come back. Like, and then they've got their shield up, so that always happens. And then you stop on this shit, and then no! Like, I'm tanky enough that I should be able to survive this, but this is, that is a lot of unnecessary damage we just took. Oh my god, and then I miss all my crap. Come on. Just get dead, thank you. Holy shit. Do they despawn now? They're not despawning! What is with these crystals? They're des undespawnable. Future site of uh, Flight Limbs Ale House. That's, that's, that's good, I guess. Look, just give me this. Pick it up. It's rotten food. Um, is there no one else that's going to spawn? I just, I don't understand. Usually these things despawn. This is like two times in a row now that I've come across those things and they just don't have anything that despawns. Alright, well we spent way too long fighting over something that really didn't matter. Like, do we even have a, a, a grind quest? We do not. We got a spider quest, though. And the spider quest ends here. As long as we kill this thing. Oh my lord. Ah, come on. I'm gonna switch, switch to this. And it's dead. Fantastic. This is this is this is a little bit weird. Like I'm beginning to get really sick and tired of this biome. There's just so much bad shit here. Like spiders, really big ones. The mama spiders come like early on this level too. He's dead. It's fine. Just, this, the, the, these, this biome is hard. And I don't, I, I like hard as much as the next person. But I'm, I'm getting tired of seeing it, like, all the time. At least we have, like, the right armor for the situation in this case. Like, anything that's ice or whatever just won't do damage to me. Okay, I got a recipe for another potion. Jim's Potion of the Iron Foot. Not a bad thing to have. Um, I'm going to make another potion of vigor, though. We're going to equip that business immediately, so that way we have, like, a potion on demand, which is good to have. Kill off that guy, get the money for it, maybe. Yep, it seems like we did. Kill off the spider. He's not so hard, but it's just... Ah, hello, spider! Okay. One of these days, I'm going to figure out when is it when is it a good idea to run, when is it not, when, uh, when is it a good time to go into a situation, or when is it a bad time. Alright, so what I'm hoping... Oh, good. Another alchemist. Uh, what I'm hoping to get here is a really strong weapon out of this chest. We we have some okay stuff, but we could use something a bit stronger. Or, you know, this. I have no idea what this is. I have no idea what it does. Armor of the Tenth Secret. It, it turns out the Ninth Secret was actually the third. That knowledge is the Tenth Secret. I... Like, what does it do? Just a ton of HP? It just gives you more HP, huh? I mean, they're both tier 2. You know what? No, I'm going to stick with the Tan Hides. 
The, like, yeah, it's not as much HP, but you take so much less damage just because magic, fire, ice, like those really annoying elements just aren't as big a problem. So, not having to worry about that, it's pretty sweet. Like, drink one of these. And then, uh, what's this scroll here? Scroll of healing. Okay. Um, we'll pick up that somewhat weird looking potion. Leave that fade alone, so what the little white guys are. And, uh, open up this tier, like, this this good chest here. Oh! Oh, that's, that's the stuff. Uh, tier three, shadow, wait, is that a tier two weapon that I just picked up? Excuse me? Hooked, check, giant, check. Covered in bugs, drool, check. Wait, what is this? Slightly sticky, but otherwise serviceable, mundane weapon. Alright, what? Well, it's probably slightly better for us than the long than the than the other sword we had, but it's still a mundane weapon. So, you know, it's not it's not exactly what we were looking for, but it'll do for now. All right, is this the right way? I desperately hope it is. There's a chest we haven't opened. So yes, it is. Uh, are there any things we haven't broken open here? No, doesn't seem like it. Let's go ahead and open this baby up. What do we get? Uh, rations. What kind? Standard. I'm fine with that. Let's swap out the the scroll of boom. Cause the scroll of boom is. Not nearly as cool as I thought it would. Like, it's not its not actually all that good. It's okay, as far as the scroll goes, but between all the wind-up time and the little damage you end up dealing, it's, it ain't worth it. Wow, okay, so that still takes three hits to kill a thing. But at least it's easy to swing around. Um, would we rather have the Hordesman hatchet? It, it's, it's, it's a legitimate question at this point. Unknown potion tier 2? Yeah, you know what, never mind. It is a tier 2... Scimitar. It's mundane. I mean, like... It's tier 2! It's nice, I guess. Like, charge in, get that smash off, knock him, like, really far away, and then just go in for the kill. Yeah, like that. One thing that I really like about the Brute is that he tends to regenerate a lot of stamina in between attacks, so you don't actually end up wasting a lot of stuff. Let's see, rotten fruit. Yeah, swap this for, or swap the rotten fruit out for a standard ration. That, that, that is a good trade. We are getting a ton of money. Like, I just realized how much money we're getting. This is actually fantastic. Okay, let's charge this up. This money is going to be incredibly helpful for keeping us alive. And if we can make it to the end of this level without dying, which, you know, is a possibility, surprisingly enough, then we're in a good spot. But I'm just, I'm not sure, you know? There, there is still a high chance that we die if we go into situations we don't need to go into, you know? Like this one. This one, uh, we we could die to these diggers if we play if we play dumb, which we almost did. Okay, he's dead, or at least hurt. Ow! Please stop. Look, get out the arcane shield. So if they hit it, they hurt themselves. Maybe. We got no idea. The point is, the diggers are both dead. Sweet. Okay. Good stuff. I was a little bit more worried there than I probably should have been, but that still really hurt. We're gonna pop a scroll of healing here, get the HP off of it without healing up any nearby enemies, which is a real problem. Like, it does happen with the scroll, so. Uh, we are looking for the way out. Do we have to go through these guys? If not, then I'm pretty much willing to tell them to go to hell. Um, we do not. Okay, they can go to hell. Screw it. Like, unless if there's something really good in there, I don't, you know what? Actually, hold on. We're gonna do some, like, end of level stuff very quickly. Then we're gonna run in there, blitz it, see if there's anything worth opening, open it, and then run. <laughs> Alright, so we got our first level blessing, we should be able to get our second level blessing as well. Do you have anything for me? Are there any uh, event vendors? Not that I can see, okay. Uh, we have some colors that we can spend here. Colors of Sula War, Last Towns, whatever. What's your hammer? Mr. Night Knight, not worth it. Okay, so let's go ahead, spend money on getting some blessings. There we go. Do we go for one more blessing before we start going on uh, older books? Uh, or on uh, better books? I think we're going to try it. But before we go there, we're going we're gonna to go into our library. We're going to pick something up. So, we are going to go into that, like, grind-infested area. Why? Just just to do it. Uh, we need to get, let's see. Uh, I think we're going to put on the You Can't Hit What Isn't There book. Just so that we can run. Like, forever. And ever, and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever. That's that's the idea, anyway. And then that way we can just, like, run in, grab stuff, and then run out. That, that, that will be the plan. And then that way we can also just roll for, like, no stamina whatsoever. Oh, good. Exactly what I wanted. A fight right at the beginning. At least this guy's easy to deal with. He 
keep going. There we go. He should be dead. Perfect. So we got some torn flesh. We got some gems. No big problems. Okay. I'm going to run in. Smash a couple of gems apart. Keep going. Is there anything in here? Nope. Not yet. Not yet. There's the poison dude. Uh, there's a trap. We're going to avoid it. Keep going. No, we didn't avoid it. Shit, we took the damage. Okay. Look, just keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. We haven't taken a lot of damage yet. So, so far, this has been a useful little blitz. But useful, I mean completely useless. We picked up like two gems. We got nothing else that we really wanted. We're we're completely out of here. We're going to quickly hope that they don't have the ability to walk in here. They don't. Let's get out of here. Um, do we grab the money book? I think we are going to grab the money book for one more level. We have enough resources that I think we can take on like the damage and HP and everything else tax necessary to make this one work for a bit longer. But then after the next level, I think we're going to have to just bank on having a good book to get us through stuff because we're not good enough at this game to uh avoid taking damage and such all right what we got <laughs> yikes thanks brazen head for being so helpful with us all right do we open up the chest on this one we have reasonable weaponry um i think we can avoid it but I'm not sure. You know what? We are going to leave it alone. What the fuck is a father of knives? I'm scared now. What? What's a father of knives? Game. <laughs> Game. You're scaring me with all these new bad guys and stuff. Let's see. What are we dealing with right at the beginning? Please, not ice. It's not ice. It's a jail cell, and it's got lots of bad guys in it. There is a fiery bastard sword, though. We will probably pick that up. Yeah, he brought some friends. All right. Well, let's... Let's quickly deal with this, shall we? Uh, maybe. Let's see. Do we have any potions that might help? Lapis Primus is the one we're going to hold on to. Ow, that was unnecessary damage I did not want to take. Okay. Just as long as that guy ends up taking our fire damage, we're fine. And by our fire damage, I mean the Shadowborn who's trying to shoot us is going to keep shooting him. That would be solid. So that's damage we don't have to take, that he can take instead. No, we almost took it instead. There we go. He's only, he's, he's getting there. As soon as we kill him, we get a sweet new sword. Come on. Come on, we're so close. I can smell it. He's dead. We just got this asshole left. Come on, kill him. Kill him, please. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna swap out the other shield we have for this fire sh for the fire shot. We're gonna swap out this mundane sword for the Santa Car Great Sword. We're gonna pick up this potion of vigor and we're gonna call it an episode. We are now in a much better spot than we once were because we have some ranged weaponry that we can use to kill some people from a distance. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure to let me know. Hit that like button down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.